All right, in this section, I would like to talk uh, about uh, and give a brief introduction of the RS Logix 500 menuing system, it's some of its windows, and just kind of an overview of how to use the system. Um, we'll talk a little bit about our menu options that we have, file, edit. Some of them you'll notice are very similar to what you'd expect in any Windows program. We have the project window that we'll need to have some discussions on and how to use it and what you can expect there. The uh, ladder window, which is where you'll spend the majority of your time uh, in your programming environment. And then, of course, some of the toolbars that uh, you'll find handy and find useful for your programming capabilities. First, let's discuss the menu system in the uh, program. The, as I mentioned before, you'll find that the menu system is, is similar to uh, a menu system that you would find in, uh, you know, any Windows program. Uh, we had the file menu where you can open, close programs, save, and do things like that. But also, you'll notice down here there's report capabilities and, and the ways to set up uh, your reporting. We'll go over that in a future lesson. Uh, the edit, uh, primarily, these commands are related to programming and, and doing uh, changes, adding rungs, and doing things like that down in your uh, programming logic. I think you'll find that uh, this is not a menu. This is not the way you'll want to do those. There's, there's easier ways to, uh, to do that. You can also do things like access revision notes and, and do some other more advanced uh, things that uh, that we'll get into and we'll discuss a little bit later. On the uh, view, this is where you can control uh, what toolbars are are shown and you can actually do zooming in and uh, you'll notice a zooming out uh, of your ladder and uh, some, some nice little things like that. Um, searching uh, we'll get into this in a future lesson where how you can find, you can do replaces. Uh, advanced diagnostics is a very useful function for getting around your program quickly and of course going to to rungs directly. Uh, communications. The communications in the uh, slick sometimes can be a little tricky. You can have some issues that uh, that this th some of these ideas and some of these things right here are some some of these uh, options will uh, make it so that uh, you can work around some of the issues that might come and, and allow you to communicate with the processor. Uh, in the tools, you'll notice that um, there's different things like uh, database. You can import and export uh, your, your database for your tag descriptions or for your rung descriptions. Um, in the Windows area, you'll find that uh, you can arrange your Windows uh, uh, and, and some preset arrangements. Uh, you can also, I guess this also lets you uh, grab you know, your project window and go to your ladder window. Now if you have them arranged uh, like I have them arranged right now, obviously that doesn't do you a whole lot, but if, if one was hidden behind then you can come here and, and grab a window and, and bring it to the forefront. And then of course the help is the uh, last menu option and uh, this is similar to any kind of Windows program help. Uh, you can get uh, bring up your help files or uh, or bring up different uh, help things that, that can help you learn the program but also you have uh, instruction help and the instruction help is very useful in uh, being able to um, find an instruction that you might be looking for or to be able to uh, understand better how an instruction could be used in your program. What I'd like to talk about a little bit now is your project window over here on the left side of your screen. The uh, project window is set up very much uh, like uh, for instance a Windows Explorer where you would have uh, you'd have file folders and you'd have files in that file folder. Um, Instead of files, we have, say, for example, a controller folder, and we have where you can actually configure or look at properties or or be able to manipulate the um, actual controller that you're uh, working with. We also have a help folder, and that's kind of obvious. It has different uh, help files and, and information. I, I prefer 
to just use this menu item up here and, and let that be uh, where I get my help at, or F1 key, things like that, that you're just standard Windows items that uh, you're used to using. Uh, it is available there. I've never practically, I've never used it at that at that uh, place. But uh, we also have program files. Um, this is a very important um, file option. Uh, it stores your different ladder logic files. This is where your actual program code is. This main correlates with uh, what you see over here, which is the program code that's um, that's uh, showing over here to the right. This is where uh, all your program code is stored, is in program files. Uh, we also have, I'm going to minimize this, we also have data files. Uh, data files are also a very uh, important item that you'll uh, need over here in this project window. This is where uh, you have your different uh, access to your different data files for creating data files, um, output, input bits, uh, status files. Um, you can see that you can create and have many different files um, that are located in this section. Um, the other thing we'd have here is you have access to your force files. You can uh, force outputs, force inputs with these. Custom data monitors, custom graphical monitors, and recipe monitors, are, and, and the trends also, are things we're really not going to get into. They are located here. You can manipulate them, but that's, uh, that's something I'm not going to get into explaining a whole lot. I want you to see where they are, and we'll try to get into that in a, a later lesson. Database, once again, I really don't uh, work with my database at this location. I generally uh, will do any kind of database manipulations that I might have, um, you know, whether exporting or importing, either here or just directly in the logic or through other other uh, avenues. But uh, it is it is uh, as an access point at that point where you can uh, manipulate your database and, and open up things. And just as an example, um, let's go to the uh, let's go to a data file actually. We'll go to a data file and say a timer data file. If I double click on this, it gives me direct access to the timers in that T4 file. And so I can actually look through, see, I can see the symbols. If there's an assemble defined, I can see a description. Now, this doesn't have a description. And I can go into the properties of that file also. So this is what uh, the usefulness of these. Uh, data files and the same thing with the uh, program files. You can, I could double click on that and bring up the file in this window over here. In fact, if I want to uh, double click on scaling, now you can see I have my scaling in my main brought up there uh, so that I could uh, be able to do manipulations on it. 